this is the second video review for this week uh, and this one is for Across a Crowded Room by Jane Alden which was uh, an ebook that I was reading this week if you want to check out my Goodreads review it, there's a link just down below in the bio and if you're on Facebook it's just a little bit further down underneath all the posts um, and this is the video review so um, Across a Crowded Room Again, do you know, I've had a really unexpected week with books. I've got more than I bargained for, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I didn't read the sort of bio, the blurb, for Across a Crowded Room, and I started reading it, and it had a very elegant 50s style to the writing and the setup and the scene. And I thought, oh, this is going to be about a lady who um, falls in love with another lady, because that's usually what happens in these books. And they're going to hit a few hiccups along the way but it's going to be about their relationship it was sort of like that but so much more so I was so wrong my first impressions um, and I'm glad I was wrong because it made a really good story and the thing I really liked about this book is in all its simplicity of the 50s it kept that elegance it kept that tone and it kept that style so it didn't it didn't deviate from from its era and it tackled things that were definitely an issue at that time so obviously you have the well lesbianism wasn't really a thing so it's seen as an illness in this book and it's it's almost like Benny who's the main character like they want to cure her of it um, and they she's fighting for her daughter um, custody of her daughter with her husband which she doesn't really want to do she just wants them to share the custody and get on like parents do but he's convinced that she's been up to all sorts with her best friend Alice and oh wow it's just like a lot of accusation on Benny as a main character who is just trying to to be herself ha have a relationship with her daughter be a good mum and and be free which what well, wasn't you couldn't really be free in the 50s and this book really captured the the sort of the trials and tribulations that women faced of because she's she's got married and had a child because that seemed like the right thing to do but that's not how she feels you know she feels different and she did have a bit of a thing with her friend Alice but it's all finished but her husband's gone completely off the deep end about it threatening her and god knows what else with with all these sorts of things about custody for their daughter and I just felt so sorry for Benny as a character um she faces a lot a lot a lot um, but she makes a friend in Laura, who is another married woman who also has tendencies to not do as she's meant to do. Um, frowned upon behaviour of the 50s. <laughs> and where Benny uh, works sort of at a school, um, which which came sort of was a bit religious as a school. Um, she worked there and she, um, Laura is sort of a... a board member if that makes sense she sort of she makes lots of investments her and her husband invest in the education program at that school and she she sort of doesn't she just supports Benny in a nice way um, but they build a bit of a relationship and feelings for one another and so that is another hurdle for Benny in this whole court case with her husband and his nightmare mother so she has a nightmare mother-in-law to deal with she has a daughter who she barely sees she's got all these conflicting feelings I mean I really felt for her as a character I really did um, she went through a lot and even though she didn't win in the end I, I have high and strong hopes that one day Benny will win um, she, she, you know, she, didn't, she didn't luck out or anything but she she wasn't unlucky but that just sounds like a mouthful doesn't it she wasn't unlucky she got something in the end but not everything that she wanted and I felt really disappointed for her because I wished I really hoped even though she was you know sort of a bit of a slippery slope and everything I really wished that she was going to get everything I did anyway it was a short book so I'm really hoping there'll be more from Benny and Laura and their future in a more freeing and open era where she's a little bit more successful I really do that would be really nice actually and I would really like that so what I'll do is I'll pop a link in the description if you want to go and grab a copy of a across a crowded room by uh, Jane Alden it was a lovely book in premise sort of 
um, the idea of two people meeting across across a room, you know, love at first sight kind of thing, which just happened between Benny and Laura. They meet several times like that, and it's a connection they instantly have, which was nice. Um, so if you want to read it, I'll pop a link in the description so you can grab a copy. If you've read Across a Crowded Room, please let me know what you thought of it. If you're going to read it or if you'd like to read it, again, let us know. And if you do read it, I really hope you enjoy it. Bye!